And let us take a look at question 25. 25 says, hey, solve question 23 with additional condition that we have. So let's write both of them. So you have a large tank. A large tank. is filled to capacity with 500 gallons of water. It's filled with 500 gallons of water. Then brine containing two pounds of salt per gallon is pumped into the tank, pumped into the tank at the rate of, well, five gallons per minute. Okay. The well-mixed solution is pumped out at the same rate. At the same rate. Find the number AT. of pounds of salt in the tank at time T. And then question 25 says, well, we are adding an additional condition. So 25 says, the solution is pumped out what if the solution is pumped out at a faster rate? So we're changing the rate at a faster rate of 10 gallons per minute. When is the tank empty? Very good. We have a solution and we have a mixing problem. So let us start solving this question. So first of all, remember that to solve question 23, we have the following case. The rate of change of the salt with respect to time is the input rate of salt minus the output rate of salt, R in, R out. So we need to formulate the input rate of salt and formulate the output rate of salt to be able to model this question. So the input rate of salt, let's just write down R sub in, can be formulated as the concentration of the salt in the inflow times the input rate of brine. Concentration of salt in the inflow times the rate at which the brine comes into the tank. So input rate of brine. So input rate of salt is not that hard to calculate. We just need to identify the given information and then to solve it. What do we have here? Let's take a look at the question. 
First of all, brine containing two pounds of salt per gallon. And at the same time, we know that the rate at which it enters or pump into the tank is five gallons per minute. So it's going to be just 10. And R sub out, output rate of salt. So let's find that guy. The same process, we need to find the concentration. Concentration of salt in the brine times the output, the rate of brine. So in this case, first of all, what do we have? The information given to us is that, well, A of T is the number of pounds of salt divided by, well, the tank is filled with 500 gallons of water. So in total, you have 500 gallons. But what is the output rate of brine? The output rate of brine is the same rate, which is five. So what do we get? We get AT divided by 100. So DA, DT becomes 10 minus AT divided by 100. As you know, this is a separable differential equation. We can write it as DA, DT equals to 1,000 minus 80 divided by 100. So dA over 1,000 minus 80 is equal to 100 dT. Just take the integral of both sides, ln of absolute value of 1,000 minus 80. Let me write it here. is equal to, well, here you have negative 100t plus minus c sub 1. Let us call it c sub 2. So 1,000 minus a of t becomes e to negative 100t times plus minus e to c sub 2. Let us call it just c. So a of t becomes 1,000 minus C e to negative 100 T. This is the general solution for this differential equation that we just built. Note that this tank is filled with pure water. So it doesn't have any brine or salt in it. We can assume, we can just consider A, the amount of salt at the beginning is zero and find C as well. We can find a particular solution here. So zero equals to a thousand minus C e to negative a thousand. 100 times 0, so C becomes 1,000. Very well, well, so let's plug this guy back in to get a particular solution. AT becomes 1,000 minus 1,000 E to negative 100 T. This is our particular solution. Now let us move on to solve 25. So let us write down 25, the same process. But here we have a difference in the rate. The rate was the rate that is pumped into the tank is five. Now we are changing the rate of output to be 10. So this is a new information that we have. Very well, so let's just formulate the whole thing and try to analyze what we have. First of all, dA dt 
is equal to input rate of salt minus the output rate of salt. Now we need to find the input rate of salt and the output rate of salt separately. So there is no difference between the input rate of salt between question 25 and question three. Ri, R in is equal to, well, concentration of salt in inflow times the input rate of brine Very well. So what information do we have? We have two times five, which is 10. Then we have a difference in the rate at which the salt is pumped into the tank and pumped out of the tank. Here, as you can see, you have different rate of change of salt in this tank. We're going to use a very popular formula, classic mixing problem, which says that, hey, the total volume of salt divided by the total volume in the tank can be formulated this way. This is A of T divided by the volume. This is equal to, well, on the numerator, you have the number of pounds of salt, which is AT. On the denominator, however, you have to take into account the rate of change. So the initial volume, initial volume plus the difference of rate at which the salt is pumped into and pumped out of the tank, which is inflow rate of inflow rate of salt minus the outflow rate of salt rate of salt multiplied by time we have a rate of change so take a look at this how do we analyze this you have gallon per minute times time which is minute so we are adding the difference in gallons for the salt that is pumped into and pumped out of the tank. Very good. So what is our R out? R out is equal to the concentration, the concentration of the salt in the brine. You have to follow the formula. It is AT divided by initial volume, which is 500, plus inflow rate of salt, which is five, minus the outflow rate of salt, which is 10, multiplied by 10. It gives us the difference between the inflow rate of salt and the outflow rate of salt. And multiplied by, very good, the output rate of brine, which is 10 gallon per minute. So R out becomes 10 AT divided by 500 plus Let's just write down minus 5t, which is 10at divided by, let's factor out 5, 100 minus t. So da dt becomes 10 minus 2at over 100 minus t. We build our differential equation now our goal is to solve this to solve this differential equation note that it's not separable so i'm going to erase this part of the board so i can write down the solution here we have a prime equals to 10 minus 2 divided by 100 minus t times a so it's a linear differential equation we get a prime plus Two divided by a hundred minus t times a equals to ten. 
So the integrating factor becomes e to the integral 2 divided by 100 minus t dt, or the integrating factor, is equal to e to negative 2 ln of absolute value of 100 minus t. which is equal to one divided by 100 minus t to the second power. Now we multiply everything by the integrating factor. We get one over 100 minus t to the second multiplied by a prime plus 2a divided by 100 minus t to the third equals to 10 divided by 100 minus t to the second. Well, on the left-hand side, we have the dt of a times 1 over 100 minus t to the second. And on the right-hand side, we have 10 over 100 minus t to the second. Let us take the integral of both sides. It becomes a over 100 minus t to the second equals to integral of 10 divided by 100 minus t to the second. And dt. So a over 100 minus t to the second is equal to, let's see, they have negative 10 divided by 100 minus t plus c sub 1. If we solve this differential equation, the solution can be written as a of t equals to 1,000 minus 10t plus c 100 minus t to the second power. We found a general solution for this differential equation, but the question says, when is the tank empty?